Hello everyone, my name is Paul. This is the first meeting of Gunaholics Anonymous. Please state why you're here and how long you've been clean. Hey guys, my name's Rufus. Um, I'm here because the court ordered me to be here, uh, mostly due to the fact that I bought over 600 guns in 2016. And one time last year when I was at a gun store, they told me that I could not buy more than four AR-15s in one day, and I got really mad, and I trashed the store, and uh, the judge sentenced me to come here. Um, so I've, I've been clean for seven weeks since the, uh, since the judge put me on gun probation. Thank you for being here, Rufus. Next. Yes, hello everyone. My name is Sam, but uh, everyone calls me Smiley. I've uh, put myself in this class because I kind of realized that I need help with my gun addiction. Uh, it was really slow in the progress of me putting money into my 401k accounts, my IRA accounts, and I sort of came to a realization that my financial future is way more important than my need to buy more guns. So I self-enrolled. I've been clean for four months today. Awesome. That's exactly right, Smiley. You, sir? Hey guys, my name is Matt. Um, I'm just here because my wife made me sign up for the class. Uh, she's just worried that I buy too many guns um, and that I'm too into guns. She says that I talk about guns in my sleep. Um, and also we're kind of teetering on the edge of bankruptcy because I can't stop buying guns. And so she made me come. Wow, that sounds quite severe. And how long have you been clean, sir? What? Oh, 15 minutes. What? Saw this little baby on the way up here. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Sinner! <laughs> My man. The whole point of this group is so that you do not buy one more gun. I didn't. What? What are you talking about? I bought two. <laughs> Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm glad you're here. I got a new gun. Don't tell Mayor. Seriously, don't tell my wife. Let's check it out. So, well first, let's check out this one. This is a Taurus Raging Bull 44 Magnum. I've had this gun for a while. Love this gun, it's a great gun. Accurate, functions 100%. Uh, this is my, I have three Taurus revolvers, not including that one. And uh, this 44 Magnum is a great gun. Ported barrel up here, six inch barrel. This is a Taurus Raging Hornet. This gun has been sitting on the gun store used shelf for a long time, so it's a pre-owned gun. And uh, it's just been sitting there. I see it every time I go in my local gun store. And I've just kind of always wanted to try it out because it looks awesome. And today I took the plunge and went in there and just bought it. They've had it for like a year, but I wanted it. So the difference between this one and this one is for one longer barrel. It's got like a 10 inch barrel on it, which is pretty cool. This one's a six shot, right? Six holes there in that cylinder. This one is an eight shot, but you'll notice the holes are a lot smaller. That's because the Raging Hornet is chambered in 22 Hornet, assuming that's focusing for you. Now, 22 Hornet, what is that, you might ask? I asked the same thing, I never heard of it. Let's start small. This is a 22 short, dinky little thing. When you hear 22, normally you're thinking of this. This is a 22 long rifle. This is what most 22s are. They're 22 long rifle. I don't have a 22 Magnum with me, but it's about the same size. This is a 17 HMR, which is just a 22 Magnum case neck down. So it's about, this is about what a 22 Magnum looks like. It's just got a little bit bigger bullet, has a 22 caliber bullet. So that's a 22 Magnum size. This is a 22 Hornet. Focus. That's a 22 Hornet in comparison to the 22 long rifle. So they have the same size bullet, same diameter bullet, and, and they're about the same weight as well. But you can see that this has a lot wider case back here, and then it necks down to the 22 size. So this thing's moving fast. I'll give you a little little detail. The 22 long rifle bullet here is a 40 grain bullet, so that's how much it weighs. Um, velocity, 1100 feet per second. 
okay? That's this one. That's your average 22 long rifle, 1100 feet per second. The 17 HMR, which is the neck down 22 Magnum, is going at 2550 feet per second, so 2550. Uh, that's a lot faster than 22 Magnum because it's a smaller diameter, lighter bullet. This bullet actually weighs 17 grains, so it's less than half the weight of the 22 uh, long rifle. So the 22 Magnum is not going this fast, but 2550 on this guy. This one, which has a bullet the size of a 22 long rifle or 22 Magnum, is going 3100 feet per second. Like almost three times as fast as the 22 long rifle. Which is pretty crazy. Speed is where you really may do a lot of damage with a bullet. So that thing is flying. And the reason that this little gun has such a long barrel is because there's just a lot of powder in there. And the more powder you get to burn, the faster that bullet will be. So if you had this thing coming out of a snubby revolver, like a little two inch barreled revolver, you wouldn't burn a lot of that powder and you wouldn't get the speed and then you're wasting this, this round. And this thing is made for speed. So this is my first time to ever hold in my hand a 22 Hornet chambered gun and a 22 Hornet cartridge. And I've definitely never fired one either. This one's got a nice little 2X scope on it. So I should be a little pistol sniper with this. So anyway, never fired it. I assume it won't kick too bad since it's got a fairly heavy gun. There's only one way to find out though. Okay, we will just fire one shot first. See how it goes. I've never fired a pistol with a scope. This is interesting. Not much kick at all. Cool. All right. What I want to do while we're here is fire a 22 long rifle at that target too, just so we can see how much different it looks on the paint where a 22 long rifle hits versus the 22 Hornet. Okay, let's go check it out. Not sure how well this is going to come across since uh, there's a lot of reflections on this paint. This is the 22 Hornet, this is the 22 long rifle. What I can see is there's splatters going all the way down here, grazing the paint. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It might, you know, there's a little bit of paint chipped off here, a little bit more than right here, but I see the grazing going down really far here. One thing to note is this is a center fire cartridge, the 22 Hornet, versus the 17 HMR and 22 Long Rifle and 22 Mag that are rimfire. So that's kind of cool. I'm just going to try to do some headshots on that target down there. Make sure I can tell where this thing is firing. All good headshots. Over there I have two soda cans set up. I'm gonna shoot one with the 22 long rifle and the next with the 22 Hornet. Okay. <laughs> yes, it threw a piece of can way up the hill over there. This is gonna be a bit of a penetration test. We have three milk jugs full of water in a row. Let's see how many a 22 long rifle makes it through. It looks kinda of like all of them. Yep, killed them all. Alrighty then. So 22 long rifle went all the way through. I'm actually not surprised because slower bullets tend to go deeper because they don't deform. I would bet that this bullet that's almost three times as fast will not go as far through. That's my wager. Or if it does, I bet you it's going to tear those bottles up way more than the 22 long rifle. Let's find out. <laughs> So here's our first, going so fast that it exploded that thing open. Here's our second. False. Hit the third, but it stopped. Oh, there's pieces of it. Let's see if I can find these bullet fragments. And that is what speed does. There's our bullet smashed up into a bunch of little pieces. I have a rock set up down there on my target. Let's see if I can break it with a 22 Hornet. First I'm gonna shoot it with a 22 long rifle. 
just to make sure it won't break easily. Perfect hit. No break. I actually barely even scratched the surface. Let's see what a hornet will do. <laughs> Looks like we got it. <laughs> so there's our 22 long rifle hit. Barely scratched it, did nothing. There is the 22 Hornet hit. Straight through. Killed it. 22 Hornet is actually used as a hunting round quite often. Uh, of course, you can shoot small game with it. Uh, squirrels, rabbits, no problem. Uh, even predators like coyotes and bobcats, no problem. I mean, this thing is a, it's a performer. I've actually even heard of people shooting deer with this caliber. I don't know that I recommend that. I'm sure it would do the job, but I think a lot of other calibers would probably do the job a lot better. But anyway, to, to prove that it's a good animal killer, I'm actually going to kill an animal uh, on this channel. I know I profess to be an animal lover, uh, but you know, it's for science and I gotta make a video. So I'll do that in just a second. First though, I want to uh, thank our channel sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. For those who don't know, Dollar Shave Club ships razors for shaving to your house. Um, the big things about razors that you look for are, of course, quality, heavy metal handle, and very sharp blades. You also look for value. You can't get much better than this. I promise, go look at the website. I'll link it below. Uh, Value-wise, the price is right. Um, can't be beat. And you also look for convenience. These guys ship it to your house. It literally comes to your house. So there's no going to the store, staring at a wall of overpriced razors and trying to decide which one's right for you. So quality's there, the value is definitely there, and the convenience is definitely there. And if you use the URL right here, you get $5 off your first month. And uh, no, excuse me, you get five, the, the first month costs $5 is what I'm trying to say. The first month costs $5 and free shipping, and you get the handle, four blades, and Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter for $5. And each consecutive month that you want to sign up for is only a few dollars. There's no, um, there's no contracts or anything. You're not locked into anything. You can cancel at any time. There's no hidden fees and no tricks. Um, it's a good deal. So check out that link right there. It goes to support what we do at Demolition Ranch. And Thank you for helping us, and thank you Dollar Shave Club for your sponsorship. All right, let me go round up the animals, and I'll be right back. Don't hate on me. We gotta kill these guys. We gotta know what the 22 Hornet will do. First, we're gonna shoot a 22 long rifle, though. Kill one with that, see how long it takes. Uh, it's just reptiles and amphibians, though, so no one even likes those kind of animals. All right, here we go. I'm gonna shoot 22 long rifle at the uh, little baby lizard down there. It's looking right at me. He looks really sad. Whew. 22 long rifle, cut him in half. Okay, so let's go ahead now and bring out the big boy, the 22 Hornet in the Raging Hornet. Let's go uh, Iguana first, okay? Y'all ready for this? Good luck, Iguana. Oh, man. <laughs> cut him right in half. All right, looking good. All right. Three shots takes down an Iguana. Uh, it took about Oh, just a few seconds. Let's do uh let's go ahead and go headshot on this frog. The head's gone. Totally destroyed the head. Oh man. Oh, I missed. I pulled off. Let's uh let's go ahead and hit this time. Cool. Huh. Okay. I feel a little bit bad about that. But uh, it also felt so right. Okay, now we know this is a proven reptile and amphibian killer. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. Hope you liked 22 Hornet. I had never heard of it until I saw this gun and did some research. Uh, seems like a pretty cool round. And if you want something like a 22 long rifle, but you want a little more pep, 22 Hornet has the pep you need. Uh, make sure to check out Off the Ranch. That is my third channel where we just kind of do everything on it. Um, we're about to hit a million subscribers and this week I'm really excited. The episodes are going to be really good because if all goes according to plan, I will jump my Ford Raptor. For those who don't know, I have a Ford Raptor. That's the truck I drive. I've wanted to jump it since I got it because those trucks are like, they're crazy. 
I'm gonna jump it this week. I'm gonna try really hard. We're going to the Texas Raptor Run, Meredith and I. So go check out Off the Ranch, go ahead and subscribe over there because it's gonna be a big week. We're gonna do a lot of cool stuff. Thanks for watching Dillard's Ranch. I love you and now we'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby!